Come on, shut up. Are you kidding me? He's eating already, guys. This is awesome. This is the first day. This is what's so amazing. What's going on, everybody? I'm really excited because I've got a new animal. Uh, and it's one I've always wanted. And I even talked my beautiful wife into filming and letting me set up a little nursery in the office, which as you can see right over here, still houses some rhinoceros and wise. So I've broken my rule, which was that animals would stay outside, but sometimes the babies need a little extra attention. So do you want to see what I got? They're cute. Yeah, I want to see. I can't wait. What is it? Well, you already know what it is. You know what's really cool is we already named him. His name is Bobby Rubina. His name is Bobby Rubina. And you have to say his name, the full name, every time you talk about it. Bobby Rubina. So let me introduce y'all to Bobby Rubina. The Black Throat Monitor. The Black Throat Monitor. Oh my God, guys. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennett. This week's special shout out goes to Tracy Creator. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. I've always wanted a little black throat and here he is. You can see that beautiful black throat, but here's what's neat. So this is Varanus abligaris. Uh, there's a sub, it's a subspecies of the white throat, but it's a black throat. Uh, Ionides is a name, uh, micro something or other. I already forgot the Latin. Oops. Whoops. What are you going to do? But, uh, this is a really cool lizard. And in fact, this lizard could get up to seven foot long from tip of his nose to his tail. And, oh, he's no, climbing no, on no, us. He's no, climbing no, on no. us. Uh, Not and, no, um, no. Uh, he could be 60 pounds when full grown. So this is definitely one of the larger monitor lizard species, but they're beautiful. And I got this animal uh, because it was an offer I couldn't refuse. My friend Josh Barger at Aquatics and Exotics said, hey dude, I know you want one of these. Go ahead, raise it up, uh, you know, take one. And that's what I did. If you get close, honey, he's gonna puff I know, up. I know, I'm trying not to get so, too close. So you know what I learned? Um, I actually learned this a little while ago and I'm gonna share it with you guys, but um, Varanus, which is the genus um, that the monitor lizards are in, Varanus actually means, it comes from a um, an Arabic word, uh, Varnik, which means, uh, I'm mispronouncing that, but it means warning. So mm -hmm. Varanus, Abligaris is, which is also Latin, which is a uh, combo. I hope he doesn't buy me. He don't know See, me. I don't know, but he, you know, the lighting's not great on your shoulder here. You don't think so? Do I need to move? Look at him well, flicking on better. me. So here's what's what cool. What if he, that your earlobe, oh my God, I'm getting really nervous. I am that. too. Why are you getting nervous? He's a little guy. He'll just give me a piercing. Um, what's really cool though is Abligaris is the... Um, it's a combination of two Latin words, uh, white and throat, but this is a black throat. So it's the subspecies it's found in Tanzania and he's hissing, hun. You're getting real close. What's he doing? He's just looking at me like he wants to kill me. So the other cool thing is you guys know, I love monitor lizards and we've been learning much more and more about them. And this is one of the species I've always wanted. And the cool thing about this little dude here, who's just already just chilling on my shoulder. I mean, I, if I were a pirate, I wouldn't want a parrot. I'd want a monitor lizard on my shoulder. Don't you think that'd be cool? I think it would be. So anyway, here's the scoop. Um, it's found in Tanzania. Uh, these little guys will be uh, semi-arboreal when they're young, much like many other monitors, but then they become ground dwellers uh, and true ground dwellers as they are incredibly heavy bodied. Um, they're, they're related to the white throat monitor, as I mentioned, they're related to the Savannah monitor. Um, they're really just a cool species. And they are true carnivores that will stop and eat anything they can overpower or find. Freshwater crustaceans, snakes, lizards, uh, birds, eggs, insects, fish, absolutely everything, which makes them non-discriminant eaters, which makes me happy. Um, really, really excited that I got this guy. Um, and Kate's making the funniest How faces. How are you gonna get him off your back? I don't know. I'm not doing it. Oh, yes, you might have to. I'm not. Um, so anyway, this is a, a really cool lizard. I'm very, very excited. And uh, I'll, I'll twist here so you guys can see better. Is that better? Yeah, now can you I can see, see his cool tail. His yeah, tail he's got a beautiful so tail. Good. So much like other monitors, as he grows older, those claws, those teeth, and that tail are all going to be weapons. The tail's for defense. The claws are for ripping up prey and perhaps fighting. Oh, oh Jesus. Did you <laughs> he see? heard you. Well, no, he didn't hear me. You just got too close to him. He got me his first oh, little whip right well, in my Well, you said eye. whipping his tail. And yeah. he whipped. It's like on demand. Right, because he was a little nervous. The other thing, as you know, is I'm going to really need to interact with this animal to make sure that 
everybody's tame. Large monitors and even the babies, of course, will grow into large monitors. They need socialization. They need to be around uh, people in order to understand that we're not going to hurt them. And I want this little guy to grow up. I want to make him slinky tame. I want him to be another mascot of the camp. This animal is going to be with us for a long time. I'm extremely excited about this animal. Uh, one day I hope to find out if he's male or female. I don't know, but Bobby Rubino is pretty cool. We're going to keep that name. Bobby's a boy or a girl. It is. A, we could just spell it B-O-B-B-I if it turns out to be a girl and B-O-B-B-Y if it's a boy. You, yeah, my name's Bobby Rubino and I just wanted to whip you because you got that camera too close. Please back up off me, miss. I'm I trying to see him. Yeah, I hear you. I'll have to see you, Bobby. Bobby Rubino. I just like the name. It's, uh, it's also the name of a local eating establishment, but we were dying laughing because it was near where we picked them up and Kate was just like, yeah, call him Bobby Rubino because I made a weird noise and voice and everything. That's the story behind the name. But um, yeah, he's chilling out right now. What I've done, and you guys will see in the time lapse if we come down here onto the ground, is I had an old, um, I had a really cool old vision cage. And what I went ahead and did is I've got, I set it up. We've got two Fluker lights with two Fluker basking bulbs, 150 watt, that's what they are. The Fluker 150 waters. I put two of them on there because I really want this to get nice and warm. And I've added a black branch, a nice piece of log, half log. And if you feel it, it's very warm. We want this to be between 95 and 105 degree basking area. And basically I also like to put the rock underneath, a little flat rock, because that flat rock's gonna absorb heat and it's gonna hold heat long after after the lights go out. The lights are on a timer, so he's got 12 hours on, 12 hours off. We've got this coconut bark from Fluker, and then I also went and just got some potting soil down here uh, that he can dig into, and what's good about this is it's going to hold the moisture, because even though they're from, uh, you know, savannas, uh, arid areas, um, they do like moisture, they're gonna need some moisture to kind of dig into and feel comfortable in their microclimate. Is he still chilling? Yeah. How cool is this little guy? He's chilling, it's day one with him. We just got him. Over here, we've got a feeding dish from Fluker. Want... Yeah, over here we got a feeding dish from Fluker. And as you guys can see, it's got some croc chow and it's also got some mice parts. Um, I cut the mouse up while it was frozen because he's not gonna be able to take a full mouse. I doubt he'll even eat today. Um, I just wanna offer him food uh, and, and get him used to his new house. This is a nursery setup. Once I get him a little bit bigger, I have a really cool spot that I'm gonna put him out, which will be, then be a graduation present for him. We wanna raise him up here for a few months, get him big enough, and probably by the springtime when the temperatures have chilled out, we're gonna go ahead and move him into an outdoor enclosure. So he'll have uh, a bigger enclosure soon. So check it out over here. Again, our friends at Fluker have been amazing to us. So we've got Fluker water bowl, okay? These, these large bowls. We've also got uh, a Fluker cave here. He'll be able to dig in there and hide under a little log to dig and hide under. Um, so I think this will keep him uh, very entertained uh, as he starts to grow up. And he'll be seeing me a lot and Kate and the kids a lot. Where is he, huh? He's right there. Right where? Why are you kidding? You, listen, you can't be that scared anymore. People are going to be, guys, how long has Kate been with me now? Does he have teeth? He sure does okay, have teeth. Okay, then yes, I'm, I'm scared. I don't want to get bit. No, know, you're, my you're way over there. He's way he over here. He could jump right on us. No, he won't jump right on you. Like so cat. I'm going to try and grab him just gently. Okay, just gently grab him. Oh, oh. I got him. Oh, he's got this Don't sharp let him loose. Clothes. Look at this beauty. I mean, this is a beautiful animal. I'm really excited. What do you say, guys? Do you want to put him in his new house? Yeah, let's see. Let's him run do. Around. Let's see. Come on. Go in there. Look. Wow. Go in there, buddy. What's there? Go if ahead, you're hungry. Bobby Rubino. Yeah, Bobby Rubino. That's my name. Eating oh, mice. That's my game. Hey, what's this? I'm flicking my tongue all over. Oh, yeah. I'm a little <laughs> monitor lizard, and I just want to see my new house. Um, this is my voice. This is how I sound, Bobby Rubino. Oh, hey, Bobby Rubino. <laughs> Look, there's my wife. I love her. And I love Bobby Rubino. Look, look at this, guys. What's going on here? What's going on here? Is he going to eat? Come on. Shut up. Aww. Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. He's eating already, guys. This is awesome. This is the first day. This is what's so amazing. When you when you provide... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm yelling. I get He's excited. Scared. So, guys, how exciting is this? Um, God has got to be stoked on captive bred animals, okay? Really hard to find these guys. I got him at Aquatics and Exotic. He's really loving those mice. Oh, oh that's God. so good. Can, Can you not believe this, hun? Isn't this awesome? So uh, this animal is obviously uh, feeling good. 
he wanted a little a little tucker as they say in australia and he's got it and so i've offered him the mice he seems to be going for the mice he hasn't figured out the croc diet yet but look at this it's a bigger piece let's see what he does let's see what he does that's a big one you're gonna have to use those claws bobby rubino look hey, bobby. oh man oh. hey thanks a lot for these mice parts I'm really excited to look get out of town. Oh, down? he's getting it right down. No worries. Bobby Rubino will get the job done. Look at him. This oh my cool. god. This is cool, right, hon? See, this is why people love these animals. You get to be a little fly on the wall of this amazing life. And it's like you're looking back into prehistory. You're looking at a time when people weren't around and these animals just existed and just lived uh, in this primordial state. You know, that's why I love watching them. And so right now you, you may think, oh, Kenan, that's a big piece, but it's, uh, these guys have the ability to swallow large pieces of prey. Oh, no, no, he's going to go, no, him. he's going to go over to the rock. Yeah. He wants to use that rock as a place to really, uh, push that food down. So they're smart. These are intelligent lizards. I always say this guys, the monitor lizards are my favorite lizards because of their intelligence. And he's going to get it down, no problem. Oh my gosh. Can you believe that? You got it. He's like our son, Leo. Leo <laughs> loves to just swallow. I always call Leo the monitor lizard because he just swallows pieces of food wow. right down. See, that was a step for me. I normally wouldn't watch that. You normally wouldn't watch that one? No, Why? I used to find that disgusting. But it's fascinating now, it's right? It's cool, yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. So, what Bobby. What tail thing here? Is oh, that tail part? Tail? Oh, he might. He might. Bobby Rubino, you are a beauty, man. Oh. I am really excited. How cool is this critter? Good job, Bobby. I love it. Oh, we're supposed to say Bobby Rubino Bobby every Rubino. time. Bobby Rubino. Um, so anyway, these are fantastic lizards. I, I actually I did a little video of my friend Jerry's black throat. So uh, Tom will throw in some video of what the adults look like and what I can expect in a few years. Um, my friend Tyler Lofton also has some beautiful, beautiful uh, black throat adults, and um, so we'll show you his as well. They're just lizards. Like I said, I've always wanted. So he just had a pretty big meal. And now look at him. He's looking at that basking area. And let's see if he wants to warm himself up in that really cool basking area. Because that was a pretty good sized meal that he just ate. So unreal. Look at his belly. He's all fat and happy, man. That's how you want to keep your lizards. Just a nice. They want to be. Your monitor lizards should have full bellies like after they eat. And then you see those folds, you see when he breathed out, um, after he digested, you always want to have a lateral fold um, halfway between his spine and his, vent his ventral side, which means his stomach. So you, you want to have at least one fold. Um, that's how you know he's in good health. Also, the base of the tail, you want to make sure that there's fat at the base of that tail. Uh, you don't want to see his hips. So this is a very, very uh, well done, well bred animal. Um, captive raised, um, incredible, incredible little animal. So I'm, I'm pretty pumped, man. This is, this is an awesome day for me. Always wanted this little dude. Um, can't wait. Don't know if it's a male or a female. The males are going to get larger than females. Um, I kind of hope it's a male. Uh, because I'd just love to have a 60 pound, big, heavily bodied, black throat monitor. Look at this. Look at him spreading out. Do you see that? They, isn't it? Come on, admit it. It's cool. Yeah, he's cool. It's cool. I it, just get nervous to hold him. That's all. Well, but you know, I think he's cool. Yeah, you're doing good though. Um, so yeah. And if you guys look at the face, much different face than our buddy Slinky. Um, just, you know, it's really, really cool to see. Uh, how these guys have those physical differences, even though they are in the same genus, they're different species and they're from a completely different part of the world. Um, but this is, this seeing that animal eat gives me the greatest pleasure because I know that this animal was captive raised, wasn't stolen from the wild and is used to living in uh, these captive conditions. And I think we did a good job. So I set this up in about uh, maybe 20, 25 half hour I think I uh, got it all set up I did have to clean out um, the the tub or rather the vision cage because uh, we were housing snakes in it but um, I bleached it cleaned it all out we got it all set up I think this is gonna be a really cool little habitat I'll more than likely get another UVB strip of lighting here to broadcast more UVB all over um, but uh, as for now we've got water 
We've got shelter, we've got food, we've got basking, we've got substrate, we have everything this animal needs. So you guys just got to meet him, Bobby Rubino, the brand new addition to the camp. Uh, how can I say no when Josh said take it home? Um, I think I did the right thing. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. What do you guys think of my brand new black throat monitor, Bobby Rubino? Hey guys, hope you like me. I'm Bobby Rubino, come to say hello. No, on second thought, I'm backing up out of here underneath. Look at how precious he is though. Look at him go. And that folks, Bye, Bobby Rubino. How cool is that? He just found the hiding spot. Oh, look, he just backed all the way out, Bobby. What are you doing? Unreal. Yes, we got a new member of the camp. I'm very excited. An animal I've always wanted. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys learned a little bit about the black throat monitor. We're going to learn together as I raise this animal up. It's always fun to get an animal small, raise it up, so you really get to understand its personality, its behavior, and its needs. So I always say, go small, let them get big. All right, everyone, that's it. Thanks to Kate for filming and hanging out and being brave. You're awesome. Uh, we're going to let Bobby Rubino do his thing, and I am going to sign off right now. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much, everybody. We'll see you very soon. Bye.